So here's the question. How do I control insulin when I am an insulin dependent diabetic? So you're asking me because you want to record me instead of have to type out the essay. Correct? That's right. That's right. right. <laughs> this will help me get it down. Yeah. Well, first of all, anytime there's an underlying medical issue, you need to see your physician. You need to see your uh, your doctor um, and make sure that whatever we're telling you as wellness coaches and sports nutritionists uh, it, it follows along with what your doctor is telling you. With that said, insulin is a fat storage hormone. It accelerates appetite. It destroys mitochondria. It stops the efficiency of our fat burn. That's, that's just a fact. My pancreas works. So anytime my blood sugar is elevated, gets above a certain register, then my pancreas releases a, enough insulin to deal with that. The higher my blood sugar goes, the more insulin my body has to, my pancreas has to secrete to keep me from going into a diabetic coma. So we all are dealing with certain levels of insulin in our bloodstream that make losing fat not as efficient a process. If we manage our insulin levels, when we're operating in a calorie deficit and getting an adequate protein, we have an advantageous situation to lose body fat. So it's not about getting rid of insulin. You can't do that. You can't survive without it as a diabetic friend would know. It's about managing it and neutralizing it enough that we can keep our blood sugar while in a calorie deficit between 80 and 120 points. We do that here with food combinations. So let's take a diabetic who has been told, unfortunately, been told that don't worry about it, nothing you can do about it, just if you eat carbs, if you eat this many carbs, you need this much insulin, that many carbs, that much insulin. There's a better way because over time, the less insulin you have to administer your, to yourself or the less insulin my pancreas produces, the longer my lifespan is gonna be, the easier it is to lose body fat. So it's not to say that you, you shouldn't have insulin in your system, you have to. Uh, but if you're eating poorly, especially a diabetic, I think our program is more critical for a diabetic and it's why we've had so many type two diabetics reverse their diabetes. And I, I know that pre-diabetes and type two really isn't a thing, but it's labeled that. Those are warning signs that you're moving towards being a full-blown diabetic. But with that said, you can reverse pre-diabetes with food combining and moderate eating. Because food combining control, controls insulin, so does moderate eating. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that's it. It's not that you don't need, you, you, you can lose body fat, but the program is amazing for anybody that's diabetic because over a week, over a month, think about it, over a week, over a month, over a year, over five years, over 10 years, think about the reduction in the amounts of insulin that you would have to have if you learn proper food combining and a proper eating lifestyle. So that's what we're all about. And it's ideal, optimal for people that are dealing with diabetes. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome.